Recently, the Cedar Falls Historical Society held their 11th annual cemetery walk out at Greenwood Cemetery. The cemetery walk happens every year, alternating between Greenwood Cemetery and Fairview. This year's cemetery walk consisted of seven different characters of Cedar Falls, ranging from the very first mayor of Cedar Falls to one of the co-creators of the original Sturgis Falls. Karen Smith, who is the executive director of the Cedar Falls Historical Society, explains how they go about finding historical people to feature in this cemetery walk. Well, Rita Congdon's our education coordinator, so she puts together the program each year um, and does a lot of research about local residents and tries to really dig up some of the stories that we may not have known as well. And then she recruits local volunteers who kind of prepare by learning the bios of the different characters and the individuals from the town. And um, they do a great job really bringing those people to life. The walk took visitors back to the pioneer days, featuring John Milton Overman and his wife Phoebe Jane Overman, both portrayed by Daryl Torin and Linda Holm. Participants of the walk learned a lot of the history about Cedar Falls, such as how the name of Cedar Falls came to be. Moved to uh, Sturgis Falls, and my brothers and I bought out William Sturgis, uh, and he left town and went on to make his mark elsewhere. Well, with Sturgis not being here anymore, we decided to change the name of the town. And it became Cedar Falls. Learning the history of Cedar Falls was not the only aspect of this cemetery walk. Participants also gained a real-world perspective of Quaker girls such as Phoebe Overman. My world, of course, revolved around raising my children and creating a welcome and hospitable home for my family and for many guests. I was very fortunate as a young Quaker girl that I learned to both read and to write. It was not at all unusual in the early days that Quaker girls were taught to read and to read only. They were not taught to write. I was very fortunate that I also knew how to write so that I could write to my Milton as he was gone in California. Another character that was acted out at the cemetery walk was Tom Klemick, who talked about his journey of becoming an interior design and a co-founder of the Sturgis Falls Celebration. He was portrayed by Gary Chambers. Blythe Lamb, who was a highly respected Cedar Falls High School teacher from the 1930s to when she retired in 1971, was introduced by Rita Congan. She was not. Miss Lamb was a no every way, shape, or form. She dressed in suits, sensible shoes, and no frills in her gloves. And when Miss Lamb would get wound up, that jacket would come off, <laughs> and she would pace, and by the end of the classroom, her shirt tail would be up. Another cemetery walk participant was R. Dale Holmes, who was a longtime Cedar Falls fire chief. He covered spectacular fires that included the 1965 Bolzer Building on Main Street Fire and the 1972 Gilchrist Hall Fire on the UNI campus. Also during his career, there were two new fire stations built in the Cedar Falls area. Dale Holmes was portrayed by Richard Congdon. The last two participants were Olivia Johnson, who was a secretary to the president of the Viking Pump Company for 26 years. And when she retired in 1967, she worked as a hostess of the Cedar Falls Historical Society. Olivia was portrayed by Peg Wiebengay. Lastly, Philip Lund was a hero of his time when he risked his own life at the age of 19 and saved a girl from drowning in Cedar Falls. Back in 1921, he was awarded the Carnegie Medal for his heroic act and the Carnegie Hero Commission Award. Philip Lund was played by Chris Congdon. The seven cemetery walk characters weren't the only learning experience of this event. Participants also gained knowledge of different monuments such as the white bronze. The Greenwood Cemetery is full of these special memorials. They were popular in the Victorian era. Even though these monuments are called white bronze, they are completely made up of zinc, and some consider them as inexpensive alternative to granite and marble. As you can hear, they are hollow. Sorry. Well, look at them there. Look at Overall, this 11th annual cemetery walk was a success learning about people who influenced Cedar Falls and different historical events. 
Looks like this year's cemetery walk was a success. If you would like to see more upcoming events from the Cedar Falls Historical Society, you can visit their website at seaofhistory.org.